Welcome to our channel, where we delve into the mysteries and marvels of space exploration. Today, we're dealing with horrifying news. The Peregrine Lunar Lander, a vessel carrying human remains intended for a celestial burial, is set to crash into Earth by Thursday, January 18th. What was supposed to be a peaceful final journey for these souls has taken an unexpected and tragic turn. Buckle up as we explore this shocking development and its implications for the future of lunar exploration. In the vast expanse of space, not everything goes as planned. The Peregrine Lunar Lander, a symbol of hope and ambition, has succumbed to a tragic twist of fate. Now, it is destined to crash into Earth, bringing a premature end to a journey that was meant to be a historic leap for mankind. Launched on January 8th, the Peregrine Lunar Lander was a beacon of America's renewed lunar aspirations. The first commercial lander from the United States, it was to be the first American spacecraft to touch the lunar surface since 1972. But fate had other plans. The Peregrine's mission was not just about lunar exploration. It carried on board human remains and DNA, a controversial decision that was met with condemnation from the Navajo Nation. These remains were a testament to our mortality, a stark reminder of the fragility of life amidst the infinite cosmos. However, the journey was cut short. A fatal propellant leak, a malfunctioning valve that failed to close, led to pressurized helium leaking into a tank containing oxidizer. The result? A catastrophic failure that derailed the mission. Despite the setback, the lander continued to gather scientific data turning a failure into an opportunity for learning and growth. Now, the Peregrine is on a collision course with Earth. Astrobotic, the company behind the mission, has taken measures to avoid leaving space junk in cislunar space. They've decided to crash the Peregrine into Earth's upper atmosphere, an act of responsibility in the face of adversity. The crash, however, could have implications beyond the immediate. The metal pollution from space junk burning up in Earth's atmosphere could cause environmental issues. Yet, despite these potential challenges, Astrobotic considers the mission a success, a testament to the resilience and optimism inherent in space exploration. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the risks and challenges in the journey to the stars. It underscores the need for robust testing, meticulous simulations, and thorough reviews to minimize the possibility of such mishaps. Yet, even in the face of adversity, the future of lunar exploration remains bright. NASA-backed private launches, like those planned by Intuitive Machines and Firefly, promise to usher in a new era of lunar missions. This incident, while unfortunate, can serve as a stepping stone to more successful missions in the future. In the grand scheme of things, the Peregrine's failure is but a blip in the timeline of space exploration. It's a reminder of the risks involved, the challenges to be overcome, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge that drives us to reach for the stars. It's a testament to our collective ambition, our willingness to push boundaries, and our unwavering commitment to exploring the final frontier. The space industry continues to innovate, to learn from its failures, and to strive for success. This incident is a reminder of the importance of managing risks while pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Space exploration captivates the public imagination like nothing else. Incidents like these serve to shape public opinion, highlighting the challenges, the risks, and the immense rewards that come with exploring the cosmos. The environmental impact of such incidents is a concern, but measures are in place to mitigate the effects. It's a balancing act a dance between progress and preservation, between exploration and conservation. In the end, the Peregrine's journey, though cut short, is not a tale of failure, but a story of resilience, of learning, and of unwavering ambition. It's a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we continue to reach for the stars, to explore the unknown, and to push the boundaries of our understanding. It's a testament to our collective spirit, our shared dreams, and our enduring fascination with the cosmos. And so, as we look to the stars, we remember the Peregrine, not for its failure, but for the lessons it has taught us, the dreams it has inspired, and the future it promises. For in the grand tapestry of space exploration, every thread, every story, every mission, successful or not, contributes to our collective